Dustin the Pro Picker here. Am I faking my thrift store finds? More on that later. Let's go ahead and check out some of the things I and uh, my wife have picked up over the last couple days. So initially in this store here, I do see a Bible and it has commentary by Oral Roberts. It is personalized, so we're looking at maybe 18 bucks. I'm paying $2.99 for this. I grabbed this quickly and it's actually not an American Girl doll in there. I know that this Instapot was really cheap. I think it says $7.99 on it and it's the 8-in-1 multi-cooker. Not their most expensive or popular model, but definitely worth eight bucks. I do pass on the ornament there. However, this is an Ultra HD Blu-ray player here, guys. Even without remote, we're gonna do very well on it. $7 into it. So I am absolutely gonna buy that. I don't know if it works yet. And these were CC horses. And yeah, I end up passing on them or GC, whatever it is. And yeah, I, I do end up passing. They were a buck ninety nine a piece, not a bad deal. Again, a different doll that's not an American Girl doll in that box there. I do end up passing on it. I think I got this Marmot Windbreaker here or jacket. I do pass on this shirt, even though it's kind of interesting. And typically the kind of shirt I, I figured I would make money on on eBay, but apparently not. I do grab this spider here. It is brand new with tag guys for five bucks. It'll be a pretty easy sale. And then here's a Carhartt lawn sleeve. I think I'm paying $2.99 for it. So not terrible. I think it is 17 plus ship there. I did find these Big Mac overalls here and I think I paid around five for it. And this sound bar right here, guys, I do end up passing on. While looking around the store again, I found this Jimmy Frosty the Snowman, it sings. I don't know if it works or not yet, but for $2.99, that's a new comp on the screen. I'll probably get around 30 bucks. On to the next store here. And quick glance to see if any media books, whatever, had been added in. But I saw this cat bank and I found it really cool. I don't have any comps to share with you, but I do pick it up. I get this Cartier perfume here and yeah that's going to be a pickup there this chesapeake bay is like an almond macaroon and i don't know what that sm like actually smells like but yeah uh i have no comps or anything to go off on that i forget if we get this or not i'll let you know in the recap sorry and then here we have a minecraft dolphin plush it is with tag there for $2.99, should be a pretty easy sale. This is actually a half off day at this next store. I only pick up one thing, it's these Bates boots here. So I'm gonna get these for $10. Should do pretty well on them, not 100% sure on exactly the comp right off the top of my head. And then at the American Thrift, so I found this St. John's knit jacket here and it was only $2.50 guys. It's super retro, super cool and I don't know how much I'll actually get for them. There's not an exact comp, but if you just kind of look it up on eBay with some generic terms, you'll see that they're all over the place. I mean, there's 57, 35, 400, 199. I mean, I get that some of them are different than mine uh, significantly, but still definitely gonna, I'm gonna pull the trigger at 250 on that any day. Back to the initial thrift that we had started at on another day and I do pick up this JVC. I think it was like somewhere between five and eight dollars. I do get this vintage brown majestic sweatshirt here and a Timberland jacket. So some pretty cool finds right there. I was really happy with picking both of those up. Just found this ornament here. It is a Thomas Kincaid 2005 ornament. So nice little pickup there for five bucks. It's a small and it comes in a box that's gonna make it easy to ship and protect it well. These Wagner Ware Magnolites did not have their lids. It's just based on condition, I decided to put them back. Here's a Darth Vader helmet from 2008, if I remember right, or was it 1998? 1998, that's not vintage, but old. And <laughs> All 
All right, I have some additional finds from this trip to share with you in just a moment. So there's been some interesting conversation and comments popping up on my channel lately. So it is something that I wanted to touch on real quick. I have changed the style of editing my video, which kind of gives an explanation to why people might think this. There's some claims like, oh, your stores are always empty, which ironically, like half of the visits were actually kind of slow in today's video. More often than not, there's actually a fair amount of people in the stores when I'm in there as well. Unfortunately, one of the comment threads that had probably the most interesting discussion on the topic was deleted by the person that made the initial comment. So I didn't screen grab it or anything in time to kind of share it with you guys but the general gist is that either a i'm somehow faking the finds or i'm getting some kind of special treatment i'm not getting any like special treatment in the sense of here we go here's a bunch of cool stuff we're gonna uh, give you first dibs on it that just doesn't happen and i am oftentimes in a competitive environment to get new stuff when it comes out so oftentimes you'll see at the new stock cart that my footage is only staying like there for three seconds, three seconds here, three seconds there. Maybe I pull the stuff off to the side, show it on the camera in a corner or something. And the big reason behind that is I made a decision that at least when it came to my Goodwill videos, that I was going to leave people in the background out of it. And that's just what I've been doing for, I don't know, multiple months now. It's just the direction I decided to head in. And because of that, it really, does make it seem empty because I'm not gonna show the shots where people are in the background. Yard sale videos will be different and be longer form, I suppose, than these. Hey guys, so here's some of the finds that I hadn't shown you yet. Now, we got this and it's like, not just a DVD player or anything, it's actually like an in, it's an in-car tablet, like entertainment system. So it has like a quad-core processor in it. Ended up with that for $6.99. These we got at the American Thrift Air 270 Reacts, $4 on them, so I'm going to pick those up, why not? I did end up with this Mary Kay here for $2.99, and that was actually from the first visit that you saw today. We did get this letter board. I don't know if I want to sell it or keep it, because we actually can't find the letters to the letter board behind me. That's why it still says the same message it said since we put it up there, which is return your shopping cart. I mean, what else would it say? Lister death pile. <laughs> and so I got this Willie Nelson once more with feeling for 99 cents. Just grab these and then another Willie Nelson here. Uh, and yeah. They might get lotted together. Who knows? And I actually did end up buying this doll. So right here, we did pay $7.99. This is a Geppetto doll. And I don't know why I didn't think I didn't buy it, but I... Buy and sell enough, it, it happens. And yeah, I did pick this up for $7.99. Not a really 100% sure, but there is some value there, so we should do okay. I did get the Marmot jacket, as we had mentioned. We do also have, I'm thinking this stack, the Schmidt workwear shirt. It's like a wool, kind of heavy garment. It's nice. And then this Timberland weather gear that we had shown earlier. And yeah, so we ended up with some pretty awesome stuff here, guys. I'm happy with it. Darth Vader was only $4. I think he's, I said he was 5 1998, not super old, not super new. They do have a Black Series version of this, which is worth like 150 bucks. That's not the one, unfortunately. Uh, the Black Series stuff came out around the time of, uh, what was that, The Force Awakens? Sure. And I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to the camera. <laughs> And <laughs> rude. Yeah, so some pretty cool stuff. There was only a couple paint chips. These aren't actually like real chips on the cat here. And it's just super neat. I don't know what we're gonna ask for it, but I just knew we had to buy it. And we had good luck with the last cat related item that I picked up, so why not, right? Mm. And any other details? Don't know yet if the Blu-ray player works or it not. It does, I tested it. Oh, okay, great, yeah. Well, it works, <laughs> and I knew that. And so that is awesome. That is good news. The Chesapeake Bay Candle here, uh, we tend to do pretty well on these. Its flavor is something macaroon, almond macaroon. So that's pretty good. And do I have anything else? No. All right. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. We're going to some estate sales tomorrow. So you should see that in a week or two. But we will be having a video soon before that. 
Hope how we be stressed stores. Thanks for watching. Bye.